Good morning, Trinidad and Tobago, and welcome to the Bosch Report. Well, today we're seeking to address a question which has become more frequently asked by investors in recent times, and that is, how do I invest my U.S. dollars? Now, this is quite an important question, particularly in an environment where access to foreign exchange or U.S. dollars has, is somewhat, somewhat or has been somewhat constrained. And it is quite important that for investors or those of us with access to U.S. dollars that we make sure that it's working as best as possible to generate positive and persistent returns over time to build on that foreign exchange or U.S. dollar wealth. Now, it's important for us to all consider, or for investors to consider, several, uh, several factors before choosing the appropriate instrument or investment in which to place these U.S. dollars. And sub some of those factors include, one, your risk profile. What type of instrument can I invest in and sleep fairly comfortably at night in? Secondly, return requirements. Or what's my target level of return? Is it 1%, 3%, 5%, or 10%? What are my liquidity needs? Or how quickly will I need to access my cash possibly by selling these instruments should the need arise. For how long can I invest for or my investment horizon? And relatedly and importantly, what's my level of investment experience or level of involvement? And these will all determine or play a role in determining the types of instruments that investors look at when considering US dollar investment opportunities. The good news is that the US dollar international markets are quite wide ranging and there are products and investment solutions to suit almost every investor risk appetite and preference. Now let's look at the lower end of the lower risk end of the spectrum in terms of opportunities that are there. And they are income mutual funds as well as repurchase agreements, which are t effectively sought in a, in a way uh, secured fixed deposit type instruments. Now the characteristics of some of these or the lower risk investor would be seeking characteristics such as capital preservation. You don't want to lose any of your money some measure of income generation and a high degree of liquidity, meaning if I needed to sell, I could sell in a short space of time. Now, income funds in Trinidad and Tobago are typically generating somewhere in the order of 0.8 to 1.75% per annum with daily access to your, to your investment. So that's a good option for those of us who have very high liquidity needs and just want to generate some form of return. Repurchase agreements, again, in, in the vein of a secured fixed deposit type instrument, offer returns in the, in the vicinity of 2% to 3% per annum, depending on your tenor of investment, and it's, this could range from three months to as far as three years in most cases. At the medium, in terms of the moderate risk investor and somewhere in the middle of the risk and return spectrum, there are alternatives such as equity mutual funds, investment grade bonds, and index exchange traded funds. Now, in the case of investment grade bonds, these are bonds with an investment grade credit rating of triple B minus and higher. So for example, Trinidad and Tobago is currently rated triple B minus, or, well, it's currently it has an investment grade rating by Standard & Poor's. And bonds in, in the investment grade space typically offer returns at the current time of between four to five percent, depending on the time to maturity that you are investing in. Now index, exchange traded fund, and equity mutual funds are effectively like buying this, the stock exchange. For example, the US, you could buy a US exchange traded fund and one of the more popular funds which replicate the returns of the U.S. equity markets right now is year to date up just around 13%. Now, one of the useful things about index ETFs is that they can be bought and sold like stocks. They are fairly liquid and there is a measure of built-in diversification. That is, you don't actually need to own, for example, the, all of the 500 stocks on the Standard and Poor's 500 index but you could just buy this one particular ETF, which will replicate that performance for you. So quite useful there. And again, this is for investors who are seeking capital appreciation to some extent, income generation, and a fair degree of liquidity. Again, moderate risk, there is the potential that the value of your investment could go up or down. But in the case of the investment grade bonds, it is fairly risk, uh, a fairly good risk to take. Now at the higher risk investment, higher risk end of the spectrum in terms of investment opportunities are international stocks and high yield bonds. And these are also for investors seeking capital appreciation, in this case much more significant capital appreciation. Um, income generation or dividend income in terms of, oh, and in the case of high yield bonds, aggressive income generation. And these typically have a, some, a lesser degree of liquidity. Now in the case of international stocks, there, is, there are ETFs which, which will provide opportunities to access 
pretty much any country or any region that you, would, you could think of investing in. In the case of high-yield bonds, again, these would offer higher returns than investment-grade bonds, but obviously they would be commensurate in terms of higher risk and generate a return in the order of around 5 to 8% per annum at current market levels, but these would be subject to change. Now again, this is at the higher risk end of the investment opportunity spectrum, and in, in fact, your, your, the value of your investments could rise up appreciably or, or significantly, but also fall, and that's something that all investors need to consider. So whether or not you are the lower, the, the lower risk end of the spectrum or the higher risk end of the spectrum, there is an investment opportunity available to you in the international markets, and there are several ways to invest your U.S. dollars at this point in time. That's it for this week's edition of the Bosch Report. For more information on how you can invest in the U.S. dollar market, give us a call at 226-8773 or 2BOSS. Email us at invest at bossfinancial.com or visit our website at bossinvestment.com. Have yourselves a great investing week. This has been the Bosch Report. Mm -hmm.